The best weeknight meals have two things in common. One, they are super easy to make, and two, they're yummy. So I'm about to show you my mini turkey meatloaf recipe, which is so seriously, ridiculously easy. I hate to even call it a recipe. My kids can actually make this and help me with it very easily. And if you're single or living in a small household with just a couple people, this is awesome because it's individually portioned. So that is an extra benefit to this particular recipe and it's a meatloaf that cooks super fast because of that. Okay, so all we're gonna do is take a pound of turkey and you're gonna just put it in a bowl. You're gonna grab your salt and pepper and I happen to know that zhuzhing this five times makes a teaspoonful. Sometimes it's fun to just look at your own tools and equipment and measure out how it works, eyeball stuff and then you can kind of cook by feel, which is more fun than measuring all the time. Unless you're like um, my dad and his wife who are scientists and they really enjoy precision. <laughs> it's a personality thing and cooking definitely has to be about love and your personality and how you do it. Anyway, that's how I do it. The one thing we do definitely want to measure is onion um, powder. Now, this recipe, I like to saute onions and sweat them down and do that whole thing, but my kids don't like the onions in this recipe. So this is the fast way and also the kid approved way. And one teaspoon is all you need of that. You don't want to overdo it. Now, my family happens to love garlic. So I'm going to give it just a tiny little, you don't want to overdo the garlic. It's not really, um, part of this recipe all the time for me, but I do it for my kids. Um, the other thing you can add is always, anytime you're cooking turkey, you can add thyme. That's something that really complements the, well, turkey doesn't have much of a flavor it takes on. So the turkey becomes this great base for thyme and that, that just really beautiful herbaceous flavor it has. Um, but my kids, won't really do that, um, <laughs> so that's okay. Okay, so we're gonna take a third of a cup of breadcrumbs, super easy, fine, regular breadcrumbs, not the panko kind, and then we're gonna add some liquids. So we're having a quarter cup of chicken broth, and then I will have just a tablespoon of tomato sauce. Now here's the thing about this tomato sauce. We use this because it has salt in it. Because of the salt in it, it's kind of like a finished food. Rather than using ketchup, people use ketchup on their um, meatloaf all the time and I, I don't really care for that. I prefer things that are a little bit simpler. And the last thing is we're gonna have one egg. So you wanna have that egg already beaten before you put it in so that all of the yolk and the white are mixed together and evenly distributed when you go to mix it into your meatloaf. So one of the great things about this meal is that it is packed with B vitamins. And B vitamins really help your body um, generate energy. Let's just put it that way. So now you can use a fork and mash this all in, or you can do what I do, which is love my food and I just get in there and make it happen. This is faster and I don't know, it just feels like, it feels more like a project. <laughs> I like getting in there with my food and feeling it and making it and really appreciating it. I think it injects it with love, which is the greatest ingredient in all recipes. And also I can actually be sure I'm getting everything evenly distributed this way. Okay, so while your hands are still gummy, and you can tell that this is like kind of a, a really a firm consistency, it's not overly wet. Simple, simple, simple. How simple is that? So you're going to take this, oh, my arm is up to temperature, and you're going to make this into these little mini meatloaves, right? So make a ball and then make it longer one side and then the other, pat, 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 and then put it on. You don't need any oil on this sheet. You can just put it just like that. And we'll go ahead and form four of these, maybe five, let's see. So eggs are really nutritious for you too. Um, the egg yolk is where all the good stuff is. Again, B vitamins, 
Turkey is also very rich in vitamin D, which we know that everybody tends to be lacking. Doesn't mean you want to overdo it. And I'm really a big proponent of um, making sure to include foods in your diet that will cover all those vitamin and mineral bases rather than relying on supplements. You don't want to do that. Your body will always assimilate vitamins and minerals better from things that come from nature than things that come from a lab. That's just common sense, right? That makes sense. Okay, and the last one. The really important thing in forming these, like I'm gonna see that that one is to make them even. <laughs> Otherwise they won't cook evenly. This is super fast, this recipe, and it cooks really quickly too. And this is one that is a great recipe to then do one of my little mini workouts that only take about you know 15 or 20 minutes while this is cooking and then you can prepare your side dish and be ready to go. So that's literally what I do sometimes to get a little bit of extra in. Okay, I'm gonna give my hands a good wash and then we're gonna finish the topping for this and then we'll put it in the oven. Okay, I'm back with clean hands to finish this off. What we're gonna do is take this tomato sauce and remember how I said the reason we're using this is because there is sodium in it and that creates a great finishing um, and flavor for these little meatloaves. So we're gonna put that on top and I'm gonna be a little bit careful about it because I don't want too much to drip to the side and then the sugars in the tomato will caramelize on the pan. We don't wanna make a mess. We don't wanna have things smoking <laughs> while we're cooking, but this just, um, finishes it, gives it a little color and a little extra kick of flavor on top. One of the things I've done, because turkey is just such a great base for flavor, is to add my favorite all natural hot sauce. To this, I uh, love Frank's Red Hot. And uh, if, or you could just do some simple cayenne or something like that to give it a little extra kick. Okay, so you see I just have those gently coated, all done, easy. How easy is that? That is going in the oven for about 30 minutes. Everybody's oven is different. Again, we're cooking it slow and slow at 350. But you'll check with your meat thermometer and we're looking for a temperature of 165. Take that out, let it rest. You can serve it immediately or the most wonderful thing about <laughs> meatloaf is that you can serve it at room temperature. So it can wait a minute while you're getting everything else ready and then you can enjoy your meal. Okay, so these are ready out of the oven and you can see they make these adorable little perfectly portioned turkey meatloaves that I will just set up on a plate. And now what I like to do when I'm plating something to serve at the table or individual plates is definitely add just a little green, so a little Italian parsley on top of this to make it special or just a little, maybe a drop of Parmesan cheese, something, anything to just add a little excitement. But aren't those so cute? Perfect little portion. Put that, layer that on, maybe some sauteed spinach or some greens, and you really have a super powered, incredible meal. Enjoy.